Well, good morning, my farm and friends. How the heck are you today? What a gorgeous, gorgeous Tuesday morning. We are having 8.57 in the morning. Golf cart jockey and I have been up early. We kind of kind of busy. Yesterday, believe it or not, we had rain, man. It rained the whole stinking day. I think it finally quit raining about 9 o'clock at night. So I did a few things yesterday. Um, the John Deere Turbo 8820 went bye-bye. And we found ourselves a <laughs> potop, potop. I don't know. That is a fine-looking combine there, though. I drove that back from the dealership and got her parked here. She is a beauty. I love it. Nice little header on there, header trailer. That is going to work out wonders for here on the uh, on Meadow Grove Farm. Uh, I did meet the guy down at the dealership. Grease Monkey is his name. Yes, he is. He's a fine and outstanding chap. He hooked us up with that combine. So we are kind of raring to go. Um, in other department, Golf Cart Jockey has uh, purchased for the farm a bale wrapper. So he's been busy doing grass work. He had a bunch of hay, hay bales made for the sheep farm. And now he is going to go out and do some uh, bale wrapping. So I got my 4240, came to the Meadow Grove farm just to say hi to him. We had a little chit-chat at breakfast. And I am going to head down to the uh, dealership. I'm going to see Grease Monkey again. And here's why. Um... He found out that uh, we had contemplated tearing up our um, cotton crop just because we didn't want to have to have the expense of renting all that fancy equipment, you know what I mean? So he said, hey, I tell you what, I got ourselves, we have a used cotton harvester, a pull-behind cotton harvester, so I'm going to go down there and get it, and golf cart jockey thinks I am just nuts. He said, I'll see you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I said, hey, it's not going to take that long. We can make it go. 4240 can do it. It can do it. So I'm going to go down to the dealership. I'm going to pick up the cotton harvester and uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll go up to the, you know, even if we make a couple thousand. Oh, I'm in the trees there. They got to trim those bushes on the road here. Even if I can make a couple thousand bucks, I mean, it might it might be worth it, you know. Um, so we'll kind of go from there. The other thing on the agenda is after all the silage bales are made, then the. Uh, the old jockey one and myself have to have a discussion to see what we're going to do. If we're going to sell some or keep some and maybe invest in some cows, get some cows on the go here. So it'll be kind of a, a, a wait and see uh, just to get the work done and see beautiful view down there over the sheep farm. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous view. Absolutely gorgeous view. But we'll head in here. We'll see Grease Monkey. We'll pick this up. It's already been leased, so we have to just pull in, hook up, and we are uh, underway. It's kind of a fancy thing. It's got a trailer attached behind it, which you unhook and then attach to the side of it. And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. This could be a complete waste of time and money, or it could be uh, beneficial. I'm kind of curious to see how it all plays out. I really, really, really am. But uh, I have plenty of horsepower here in the 4240 to pull this thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, look at that. There it is. Hey, it even matches the tractor for crying out loud. It doesn't get any better than that for crying out loud. No, it doesn't. All ready to go. The 8820 has been shipped out to finer pastures, I think. Let's see. Three-row cotton harvester. I tell you what. That is something else. Let's hook up to this thing. Got a little log down there. They can't even invest in a jack for it for crying out loud. But uh, PTO shaft hooks up. Look at that. That is a fine-looking piece of machinery there. Now, we need to head up to... Let me look at my map here real quick. We need to head up to field 39 is where the cotton is. So we're at the store. So we should be able to just make a straight jaunt back towards our farm. And then um, kind of get in the back way there. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Because I don't know. I haven't, travel, I haven't traveled these roads that much. And I don't know which way is the better way to go. Because we could split off here at the spinnery and go up. Like a little, oh, that's just a little shortcut. There is no road. There's a road going up this way to the cow farm, but, uh, yeah, we'll just head back our way and, uh, and pick it up, and let's take a look at this thing, so I think the concept is, um, uh, when we get there, we unhook the trailer, and then we hook the trailer up to that hitch, and then, uh, make sure we put the auger out first, and, uh, we'll go from there, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hop into the 4240, I'm gonna cruise down the road, I got the tinted windows, the radio on, my cold Mountain Dew, and a leftover bacon sandwich, so I am ready to go. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to head up that way, and I will see you when I get a little closer to the uh, to the 
to the farm, the field, because, <laughs> as you all know, uh, this thing is not the most speedy tractor in the world here. It's going to take me a while to get there, with especially pulling that uh, cotton harvester and the uh, trailer. But uh, if anything exciting happens, I'll certainly let you know. Or not. You might notice something a little bit different here. <laughs> we, the John Deere 4240 broke down. I tell you what, terrible tractor. I got all the way over here and it started smoking and it broke down. So we brought it back to the dealership. And in the meantime, we got a Fent 515C. Anyways, it was kind of a, um, a hassle in here. But I kind of got the field somewhat opened up. And it, to be all honest with you, um, the, the 4240 and the 4440 was causing so many ping issues that every time we started the tractor, the, it would go berserk. So we ended up having to replace them. And then the funny thing is I could never figure out how come it was destroying crops. Those tractors didn't destroy crops. So made a few changes to the fleet. So we have a little extra money in the bank from selling two tractors. We've only replaced one so far, the Fed 515. But this thing is actually working pretty decent. Let's get in here and check it out. Um, it's blowing it's blowing cotton in there. Now, as golf cart jockey so pointedly pointed, pointed out to me, uh, how do you sell it if it's not a bale? So that'll be interesting. That, that's, uh, that's one thing I'm going to have to kind of figure out. And the other thing I don't like about it is uh, just because of that trailer, you really can't, um, you really can't back up is kind of the problem. But I tried to get this field opened up. I made a I made a huge boo boo by destroying a bunch of crap crops when I got in here. Got a bunch of cotton, but <clears throat> it's all good. It's all good. We'll we'll make the best of it. Um, like I say, we were just gonna plow this under anyways. So instead of plowing it under, we might as well try to make the best of it here and see how it goes. Not a straight line here, so I sh probably should have straightened this out. And now I can't do it now because I will. Um, I kind of screwed up in that department because I should have had uh, row crop tires on the fence. But then again, you know, I don't know. I suppose back in the day, they probably could drive this trailer down the rows too. I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't know much about cotton. I really, really don't. Uh, I should know more. And I'm not doing this 100% uh, the right way. But I'm just trying to make the best of it. Try to get enough cotton in there to see if it actually works worth the darn. But maybe I'll straighten up this row here now and just go straight down the rows like I should be doing. Um, spoke with Golf Cart Jackie. He has been busy. We, you know, I didn't tell you this last time because we got kind of cut off there. But uh, we had some fancy CB radios and walkie-talkies installed. Two-way radios in the tractors and we, even, we each have a handheld. So every once in a while, we might hear him on the radio and uh, let me know what's going on. So that's actually kind of working out pretty good. Let's see. Like I said, you can't back this thing up real well. So that's kind of the downfall to this little setup here. See, the trailer just kind of goes that way. Um, but we'll make the best of it for crying out loud. We'll make the best of it. There you go. We'll get down the road here. Yeah, but I couldn't figure out why that 4240 was not destroying the crops as I was um, driving down the road. It must be an issue with the, uh, the tractor in itself. But we seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, 2,200 uh, liters of cotton. So... Basically, the price of cotton, um, <laughs> the price of cotton, uh, there it is. Is that 2,803 bucks per 1,000 liters? So that would mean that right now I'm at uh, 5,600 bucks. So, hey, so if you put it that way, that's not too shabby of a deal. I mean, 5,600 bucks. I think we've got, um, let's take a quick look here. Cotton technology. Uh, cotton, cotton. What, where in the heck is co cotton? There it is. Um, oh, no, maybe it's not under there. Is it under the, there it is. So that leasing cost was 5,000 bucks and the trailer was 1,000. We have 6,000 bucks into this um, cotton harvesting operation we got going on here. Does that seem right? There's something screwy. Oh, 99000 to purchase. Oh, okay. I was in there. I thought I said 9000 Well, it cost you 9000 to buy and 5000 to lease. So, uh, well, we made our money back um, easily. So that's a good thing. Um, can't complain about that. Maybe get a little extra money in the pocket. But the problem is, because we got rid of two tractors, now we got one, uh, we're going to need to replace one tractor. And I'm kind of thinking that... 
We, we went with the Fent 515 because of the, uh, it has the option for a front attacher, being that we are across the pond here, that's very common. And it also has a front end loader. So that's kind of why we went with it. But the other tractor we're kind of thinking of is maybe a Fiat. Maybe a Fiat, I don't know. Um, the 4240, the 4440 great tractors, I absolutely love them. And it's kind of sad that this is happening. And I don't know why, we didn't have trouble the other night. So maybe if we would have held off, who knows. But every time we got into the darn tractor and started it up, I mean, you, you couldn't stand to be on here. So have to do something in the meantime. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, with that said, I hope you all had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. For those of you here in the uh, in the U.S., it was a nice one. Um, maybe back to planting some soybeans, hopefully today, uh, Tuesday. So that would be kind of nice. Uh, get that done with and be done with spring planting. But the way the year is going, then it'll be off the spraying and all kinds of good stuff going on. So this ain't going to take me very long. Uh, golf cart jockey, I think, is going to bring up the four-wheel drive. And we're going to start getting some field work done here. And I'll probably do some... We kind of talked that maybe we would just lime it all. Lime all the fields while we're out liming. Because I think pretty much they all need to be plowed. Except for, well, the grass fields, we, we, we weren't going to focus on plowing them right now at the moment. But possibly if we get some time down the road, we will get them, um, get them all plowed up. But maybe one at a time, I don't know. But kind of the whole thing is if you're out liming, you might as well get all your lime cycle same time for game purposes we thought maybe we would do that and then get some plowing done and then decide uh, what we're well we kind of did that already corn is going to go down in the big field that's going to be corn uh the small triangle field down by the sheep farm is going to be our root crop that'll be some potatoes and then um we'll have to have some uh, soybeans canola sunflowers and or a small grain so i think we're sitting pretty good there actually i should square this off a little bit but let me continue on with this year. If something exciting happens, um, I'll certainly let you know. here. I think I'm going to call Golf Cart Jockey on the radio and see if I can get a hold of him. Golf Cart Jockey, sir, you got a copy? I do indeed, sir. How's it going down there, buddy? I am almost done bailing the uh, last of the two fields here. Very nice. Uh, I got one more round of cotton left. And then I will uh, try to part ways with the cotton. And then, do um, you need some help, or should I start doing some other stuff? Um, well, if you want to do the plowing, then I will go ahead and start wrapping bales. Either way. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Do you think we should put lime down, or should we, yeah, probably put lime down? 
yeah, it makes sense. To, uh, we're going to have to do them all, like you said, so might as well do it now. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okie dokie. Is there a lime spreader down at the arable field? Do we have one of those things yet? I'm not sure that we own one. We have the liquid spreader, I believe, is the only... Okay. Well, we'll have to kind of take a look at that and see if we have one. If not, we'll have to uh, go down and talk to Grease Monkey down at the uh, dealership and see if uh, they can find us one. Yeah, I was just telling everybody about Grease Monkey. He, uh, yeah, with a name like that, he's bound to be able to find one. Oh, most definitely. I like Big Max too. That's unnecessary. <laughs> Hold on to your britches here. We have got, um, probably by the time I get to the end, 6,800 liters of cotton out of this field. And a price, I think the price is like uh, 2,800 bucks per 1,000 liter. That's not too shabby. Wow, thank you, Grease Monkey. Yeah, without him, we were just going to plow that into the ground. That takes care of it. Look at that. 6,757 liters of um, cotton. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, that is done. Thank heavens. We don't have to do that ever, ever again if I don't want to. Um, let's unhook the trailer. And then see if I can pull away here with this thing. We'll put the pipe in there. We'll just set this right here. We'll have to come and get it in, and bring it back after a while. But I'm gonna need to hook up to the trailer because we gotta take that to the spinnery and see if this, <laughs> and see if this works. Otherwise, I gotta find a way to um, bail it out. Well, either that or maybe it'll just all blow out going down the highway here. I have I have no idea. Oh crap! I better open the fence first there. But as you can see, yes, <clears throat> I tell you what, CB radios are awesome. You can just uh, put the click the mic and talk, and we can converse without having to pick up our phones it's, it's it's pretty dandy it's pretty dandy so now let's figure out where in the heck am i going for crying out loud um hey there's a spinnery right there so i'm gonna leave there i'm gonna come back down to the shop so it's on the way to the shop so that should be pretty simple to find the fent favorite 515c get those on get those on oh yeah now now we're now we're cooking yeah, so this should make some decent money. I mean, we're not, you know, we're not getting rich off of it. But uh, like I said, we had, what, six? Do we have 6000 into the leasing cost, I think I said? So we're not sitting too bad there. But let's take this trailer down to the spinnery. Let's see if we can sell it. If so, we'll all be happy and move on to the next project. If not, I, uh, I might be a little upset. Maybe if one or two bad words. But that's, that's just, just one or two bad words. Edward, big farm that way. That's where I go. Okay, this way. Off to see the spinnery. Should be coming up to the spinnery here in just a little bit. Right here up. Oh, come on. You can make it up the hill. You can make it. <laughs> I still have no idea if this is going to work or not. Oh, me buckets. I don't know about it. I don't know. Let's see. That goes down to the sheep farm. Nope. Spinnery should be right up here on the right, I'm assuming. Um, good view down there. Good view. Let's see. Holy buckets. Look at all those bales. I tell you what. He is a busy man. He is all over the place. Have you noticed that? He's always all over the place. Let's see. Let's pull into here. I, I hope I get a tip. Oh, I think. No. What's it matter? Why is the gate shut? There you go. From right there, I thought they were closed. Not even open for crying out loud. Okay, let's hope this works. I hope this works. 
I hope this works. I hope this works. Look at that. I see a tip. We can unload. Hey, it's actually selling too. Eight. <laughs> Holy criminy. 18,940 bucks. And, uh, whoa. Golf cart. Jockey, did you happen to see that influx of income? It's quite impressive for a little trailer full of cotton. I like it. See, he's impressed. He's impressed. And here we thought that we would just plow it under. Uh, I tell you what, that grease monkey at the store, he um, he certainly helped us out there. That was nice. Okay. So 18,000. Something 40. 940? 740? So, um, cost us 6,000. So, hey, we made $12,000 off that field. That is not too shabby. Keep Adrian happy. That's the whole plan here. That is the whole plan. So, I'm going to take this back to the store. We can return it to Grease Monkey. And I'll have to get the um, harvester. I'll have to return that. And then I suppose I should look and see if I can find a... Uh, well, maybe I should think about doing that now before I leave the store. Because if I have to pick up some sort of a spreader, we will um, we will need to do that. That's our cultivator still sitting here, too. Park that there for a second. Um, let's see. I suppose I could, uh, well, I'll see where Golf Cart Jockey is. Figure out if we have a spreader. If not, I can uh, pick one up. Alrighty, I picked a few things up at the store. I ended up picking up a loader and pallet fork for the Fet Favorite and an Amazon spreader. We got that one because we can do lime and fertilizer with that. And then two big bags of, um, of lime here. So that looks all pretty outstanding. So I'm going to take one and, oh, you know what? I don't know if this will all, holy buckets, look at that. That's not good. Uh, back tires coming off the ground. I would love to have a rear weight down there, but I got a spreader on there. I was thinking that I could fill the spreader up with one of them and then uh, the other one put on the forks and start going doing some lime. Whoa, cheapers, creepers, don't damage the new, oh man. That's not good. This is not going real well. That was, this is, this is bad. This is how not to do it. Um, there we go. Okay, stay there. As it, as it empties out, I should be able to settle back down for crying out loud. Yeah, that, that did not go as planned. I didn't think that I would take the back tires off the ground with just a pallet, but I guess I did. Oh, are you going to get empty? Ooh, something's, something, whoa, what was that all about? Hey. Hey, that worked out. We'll just leave the uh, the pallet right there that apparently it wasn't quite empty. Okay, so I got a spreader. I got a pallet on top of the spreader. And uh, I'll hook up to this thing here. Kind of all kinds of funny things going on here today. But um, I suppose, hey, I wonder if I have enough weight back there now that I can put uh, the other pallet on the forks. Why couldn't I do that? I don't know if that, if that pallet's going to stay there, though. That thing is going to go flying off of there in a second. I bet you it could, could, probably could go flying off into the trees for crying out loud. But let's just see here. Um, let's try to pick this one up and see what happens. The pallets are kind of sinking into the ground there a little bit. Okay. That might not work too bad. Now, we're off to spread some lime. So, uh, where is the nearest arable field? Then we can get rid of... Um, we can get rid of uh, this pallet in the back here before it goes flying off. I think we should probably take a right, and we'll head down towards field one. We'll do a field one real quick and see how that goes. Now, the problem is when the when the uh, fertilizer spreader gets empty, I suppose then my uh, back tires will come off the ground again. Too bad you can't have a weight and a spreader. That would kind of work. We'll just take a nice, easy stroll through Meadow Grove Farms here. Hopefully nobody sees me and laughs at me. Hopefully I don't run into golf cart jockey. He would kind of think that I'm nuts. Well, that he get here. He probably already thinks I am nuts. Um, a lot of people think that. Let's see. How do we get into field one? We should be right up here. That's the grass field. We have that grass field. Oh, here's field one. Oh, I wonder if I have to go through the grass field. Oh, no. Is there an entrance up here? This is kind of out in golf cart jockey's territory. I'm not too familiar with this area yet. Um, yeah, I can't get in there. 
Well, that's just kind of crazy. Maybe I have to go down into the farm. We'll go down into the farm. Hey, look at that. Holy buckets. He's got the four-wheel drive out. Um, that man is going to beat heck, I'll tell you that much. Uh, he's getting a little carried away. Oh, he's doing some fancy plowing. There he is. Um, getting all ready for me to come. Let's see. We'll, uh, we'll pull under here. Let's see. I suppose if I open these gates, they kind of get in the way there. Oh, whoa! Oh, crap, I almost took out the four-wheel drive with the gate. That was kind of entertaining. Um, pull into here. Now I can shut the gate here. Let's see. Shut the gate. And uh, we'll spread some lime. I wonder how he likes that uh, tractor. I don't know if he likes it or not. Yeah, I think he has a funny name for it, for crying out loud. Holy bucket, that's a pretty good spread. I didn't think he was going to shoot off that much, but she does. I suppose now I've already taken up what he did. I didn't think he'd be this far ahead, though, to be honest with you. Is he stuck in the tree? You never know with that guy. Ha! Oh, I gotta tell you a funny story. Um, yes, <laughs> the other day with the sheep in the wall. Um... Somebody wrote, it kind of reminds me of the Pink Floyd song. I should find out who that was. I'll have to say that. Another, just another sheep in the wall. That's kind of funny. I liked it. I got a good laugh out of that one. I got a good laugh out of that. There. Just do a quick little uh, lime spread here. And we have ourselves a cocaine field. There we go. Just like that. We're all done. We got her. We got her made. That was easy. Easy peasy. Um... Let's see. Where am I going next? That's nice. Hey, look at that. He's got, uh, hey, we've got white tires. <laughs> kind of looks kind of funny with white tires. Um, I'll tell you what. Where did that thing go? How do you like that thing? A little jumping down? Yeah, there you go. He's a good jumper. He is a good jumper. Who said white man can't jump? Uh, darn good jumper. Oh, you don't Oh, I can open the gate. Uh, I got to open the gate for crying out loud. I didn't know that. Let's see. No. I suppose. Where do I want to go? Um, I need to go. Oh, wait. Is this one? No. What field am I on? I thought I was on one. Oh, crap. I'm not on one. I'm on uh, 72. Oh. Well, we'll go back out there and go towards one then. So I'll open this gate here. And we'll go back out that way. I thought I was on one. This is going to be 72. This is going to be our little root crop field. Um, yep, I feel like I leave the gate open because he's already made the one pass coming along the edge there. There you go. I'll get out of your way, buddy. See ya. White tires and all. Exciting stuff. That is just, um, that is thrilling. <laughs>
record. Um, head back up to the pig farm and grab the Zeal Tender Truck. And I might as well take that down to the dealership and um, pick up some lime. Oh, wait, we have a lime center, don't we? Uh, lime station, yeah, right next to the pig farm. Okay, well, that'll work out pretty good. Let's see, I don't think Golf Cart Jockey will mind if I borrow his um, Mahindra. I'll hop in here, head back to the pig farm, grab the uh, Zeal Tender Truck, and uh, go pick up some lime from the lime station. And um, keep liming. All right, so that's all I can do, just keep liming. If I, if I time it right, measure it right, I won't have a lot of extra. Then I can just um, probably put some fertilizer down too, I would think. But um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Driving along in my Zeal MM3. Ah, fine outstanding truck. I tell you what, everybody should have a fleet of Zeals. I, I, I seriously say, it. everybody should have a fleet of Zeals. Look at that. Even the speedometer works. Nice! Fuel gauge. Uh, what do we have for for fuel? Uh, oh yeah, it's it's full. There we go. Pretty good. I like it. It's getting dark out too. You know, another thing is, it gets dark in this area of the area of the country uh, pretty darn fast too. So, whoa, stay out of the tree. Stay out of the tree, Zeal. Oh, come on, Zeal. What's wrong with you? The, the windshield is so narrow. You know, you want to look up, but then you're looking at the ceiling. Um, crazy. Okay, Lime Center should be just right about in here somewhere, I think. Um, Lime Center, Lime Center. Yeah, it should be right about. Oh, crap, what am I doing? I'm looking out the back. Um, what in the world kind of camera view is that? Hey, look at that. Uh, I didn't know that. I never had a camera view up there. That's kind of cool. Um, scared me there for a minute. Like, what in the heck am I looking at? Did I go right by the Lime Center? Um, I wonder if the Lime Center was right back there. Oh, that's the BGA. Oh, I can never tell from this map for crying out loud. Um, animal Dealer. Biogas plant. Yeah, I think I went right by it. I gotta go back that way. Um, no? Or is it right there? You know what? I think I'm losing my mind. I think I am losing my mind. Let's see. What's this in here? This is the, uh... <sighs> I think it's right up there, to be honest with you. No. Huh. Let's see, where am I now? Breaker, breaker, one nine. You got your ears on now. I hear you, clucking. This thing is great. I've always. Cup card Jackie always wanted a CB radio. Yes, sir. You hard at it still? Well, I wouldn't call it hard at it. Yeah, nobody else would either. <laughs> it is 5.15. I am, uh, I'm going to the pub. I'll see you. Hey, wait a minute. That's not fair. You're going to the pub? Yeah, I'm already late. It's way past the time I should have been. I think I'm gonna try to pick up some lime and then I'll meet you up there. That's an excellent idea. I uh, got field 73 done and uh, 69 will wait till time. All right, buddy. Well, uh, I'm just filling up at Lime here, and then I'll uh, I'll see you up there. Have a good one. Uh, order me a double. Will do. That nice guy. He won't order me a double, though. I, I highly doubt it. Look at that. I found the Lime station. 720 bucks for Lime. You can't go wrong there. 4,000 liters. So actually, that should um, that should be pretty good. I think. Uh, I filled it up. 4,000 liters of Lime. So now let's head back to the uh, spreader. I finally found it. Okay, so the lime station is the BGA. Keep that in mind. I have no idea what that is yet either. Um, I kind of feel like a newbie at this driving around. 
But I, I tell you what, they need to get better maps here in, in Middle Grove. Much better maps because they're uh, not as detailed as I would like them. But it's okay, nonetheless. It's okay. We're, we'll uh, we'll eventually get the hang of it. Now, there was a... Is that the road? Nope. That's not the road. See? Once again, it's getting dark. How does he get to go to the pub so soon? Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I uh, started as early as him, I could uh, leave as early as him. Because he starts a lot earlier than I do. I'm not much of a morning person. I'm kind of a, a nighttime, nighttime guy. So um, that tends to be the reason why. But, hey. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, hang on there. Yeah, right here. I probably could have gone in that entrance too, but we'll go in here. Back side of the farm. Uh, I think I'm just going to fill this up for tonight. Maybe I'll park it inside here. Uh, no, I'll tell you what. I can't leave it like that. I'll probably end up finishing that field that I'm on. And then, um, now look at that. Who leaves a tractor right in the middle of the road for crying out loud? I tell you what. Um, it's like farming with your brother's kids or something. Uh, remove this. We never put anything away. And all this storage here for crying out loud. It's not like you're lacking storage. Uh, then again, I did steal his um, engine, but don't tell, don't tell him that, okay? Uh, he'll probably just think that he spent too much time at the pub tonight and then misplaced it. So he'll never even realize that it was me. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Okie dokie, let's see how this thing works. I'm kind of curious to see if this thing works pretty good. Oh, hang on there, Zeal. Don't go tipping over. That wouldn't be good. I don't want to have a pile of lime here and explain that one. Hey, look at that. Good turning radius on the seal. I like that. Some of these older trucks takes you a whole football field to turn around. Uh, oh, he's got the he's got the tractor park right there, ready to go. Well, he is a, he is kind of on the ball. I will say that. Let's see. Let's get that outspout up there. Let's get that thing out there like that. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty good. And then we can um, fill this puppy up there. Hopefully, it works. I don't know why it wouldn't. It's got to work. It's got to work. Like I said, it's got to work. Um, yeah. Turn it on. Come out. Come out. There we go. Look at that. Like a charm. Like a charm. You just got to have the pipe out. That's what it is. You got to have the pipe out. Uh... Like a grain auger. Pipe in, pipe out. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, I love this thing. Down. Oh, yeah, right there in this cradle. Oh, yeah, that thing's awesome. Well, okay, okay, then. So, I'm going to park this thing up here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to park it... Um, I'm going to park it right here. I'm going to put the... Nope, that's not the pipe out. I want the pipe out. And then if I need to, um, using fancy remote control, I can just uh, come underneath there and fill it up again. Perfect. It's like a one-man operation here. I am, uh, I am good at this stuff. I really, really am. Um, oh, something smoking there. Oh, this must be the uh, the dust from the uh, hopper in the auger is just kind of. That's okay. It's not. It's not leaking. Anyways, I think that will wrap it up for today. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna finish this field and I'm gonna meet golf cart jockey down at the pub for a double, and uh, we'll call her good tomorrow. Or call our good for tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. What we have planned on is some um, field work. We have some bale wrapping to do. So if we um, do a little tag team thing here, get the field work done, and then we can both get the uh, bale wrapping done, and we can decide what we're going to go from there, if we should sell the silage bales and make some money, or if we need to um, hold on to them and possibly get some cows. We're at 90900 bucks, but also keep in mind that we uh, got rid of two tractors and uh, we're just down to the one plus the uh, 6,000 series. So there could be a possibility of a need for a uh, another tractor here in the near future, but we'll have to play it by ear and see how it goes. Kind of, you know, we'll kind of just um, do the bare necessities in the beginning and then hopefully just can't, can't kind of keep working up and uh, building from there. That's kind of the whole plan. We have, um, you know what, before we end it, let's just double check. Um... Come on, get over there now. Check on the animals. So, we've had one birth. I think we had 30 sheep. Now we have 31. So that's nice. 
Um, I don't know how many chickens we started with, but I don't know if they reproduce or not. Uh, pigs, we started with 10, so now we have three. So look at that. Then we've got manure. We've got slurry, so they're producing. Uh, we have 194 liters of wool. That's not too shabby. And we have 63 eggs. So things are being productive. I tell you what, how much is uh, wool? Oh, that's garbage. 841. Never mind. That's not that important. Um, but yeah, so we'll kind of have to also talk about how big we want to get the pig herd up to and then get to that number and then um, start selling off the, uh, the little bacon. Everybody loves bacon. I mean, who doesn't love bacon? Everybody loves bacon. I love bacon. Everybody, I should make a song about bacon. Just, I love bacon. Yes, I do. I love bacon. How about you? No, that's kind of cheesy. But you kind of get the gist of it. Apps and broccoli. Anyways, um, have a great Tuesday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, have a great week. It's going to be a fine and outstanding week. I tell you what, in uh, northwest Minnesota, we're finally going to get to 74 degrees. That is um, absolutely unbelievable. It's actually too warm. Uh, hopefully, it'll snow or something to cool it off a little bit. But anyways, have a great, great day. Enjoy it. And we'll see you here next time on Middle Grove Farm. Until then, keep them to the dishes. Oh, I'm empty again. That didn't last very long. Well, let's just see how this thing works. I think this might work. If I just pull up underneath here, it should fill up. Remote control. Come on. You're going to work. Ha ha ha! Man, I love it. I love it.